right, what's going on people? Eddie Wynn back with a November haul for y'all. So it is the last day in November. This video will most likely be going live in December. So this still counts as a November haul. No messing around with this one. I have to get right into it. So I'm going to start off with a few things from Frank and Oak. Starting off with this navy bomber jacket. This thing is very clean and classy. It does not have your typical bomber jacket collar. It's more like a pea coat up here where you can flip up the top. It has a padded inner lining. You have two big front pockets. The material is a half polyester, half wool. It's very soft. I also have two button ups from Frank and Oak. Let me show you. First up is a elbow patch flannel shirt in light gray. This is a very nice flannel. It's soft as well. Everything I got from Frank and Oak is really soft. And then on the back, there are some charcoal gray elbow patches. My size normally in Frank and Oak is extra large. I went with an extra large tall in this one. I've never gotten the tall stuff from them before before, but I am 6'2", so sometimes having that extra length really helps, so I'm glad they had this option. Next up, I have another flannel from Frank and Oak in black and chestnut. This is actually my favorite out of all three things. I don't have any flannels in this color, so I really wanted to go ahead and grab this. Black jeans, black Tims, and this shirt, killer. On the back of this, there's also elbow patches in black. Nice touch. All right, so two shirts and a bomber jacket from Frank and Oak. I will put links to them down in the description. All right, moving on to a pair of sneakers. If you follow me on Instagram, actually, no, not Instagram. If you follow me on Twitter, you already know what these are. I posted them. I found them in store, an absolute steal. This does count as fresh kicks for cheap because I do have a link for these. As of right now, there's a few sizes of these left, so I will link them down below. Full retail, actually is still under 75 which is the cutoff for fresh kicks for cheap I don't know I'm talking too much I gotta show you guys what they are so here we go with the Adidas Stan Smith white leather upper gum bottom black accents absolute fire you guys know I'm a huge fan of Stan Smith's I have a lot of pairs in the winter time Stan Smith's are a great shoe because the leather upper is easy to clean I can't get stuck talking about things I gotta show you guys some clothing real quick boom the ivory bomber jacket from Killian. I pre-ordered this thing and it took a while to show up, but when it did, I was very happy with it. It's like a $60 jacket. This is sold out. I told you guys, I'm scooping anything I can find in this beige, ivory, off-white color. I've got that champion hoodie, this jacket, those Puma suede's. If you guys went ahead and checked out Killian, you guys know that their stuff sells out really quick. This was a pre-order, not available anymore. I also picked up some t-shirts from them. I went ahead and grabbed the gray and the white. These were only like 12 bucks. And also, I had a subscriber send me over a bunch of t-shirts from them as well. They didn't fit him. He knew I was an extra large. He hit me up, offered to send them over, and very nice move on his part. He didn't ask for any money. He said, hey, I'm going to send them to you. Do you want them? So I accepted. I appreciate it, man. I'm going to put his Instagram down in the description. Give him a follow. Definitely a good dude. He sent me two black and a gray. We got to keep it moving. We got to keep it moving. I've got a quick sneaker unboxing. This is from my homie, All Things Philly, AKA Philly Got Soul. He's on YouTube and Instagram. I'll link his accounts down in the description. So this sneaker is from Champ Sports. Philly also gets things from Champ Sports and they sent him these. These ended up not fitting him. So he offered to send them over to me and I really like this style sneaker. So I was like, yes, please. You guys have definitely seen these. I'm gonna show them to you real quick and then I'll move on. You're killing me with the tape job, Philly. So here we go. These are the Hirachi, I actually forget what these are called, but they are Hirachis, and I'm a huge fan of Hirachis. These are the Nike Utility Hirachi. Very dope. I really like the upper on these. There's a little bit of camo design, but it's not like crazy camo. I find Hirachis to be very comfortable, and this sole looks like it's somewhat updated, so uh, definitely excited to throw these on feet. Thank you, Philly. This has happened multiple times. I start to unbox things and throw clothes everywhere. I end up covering stuff up that I'm supposed to show you guys, and I forget about it until after the video. We gotta talk about this jacket I'm wearing real quick. I found this at the Levi's store. You guys saw the vlog. It was only 25 bucks. When I saw that 
price tag, I was like, oh, America, are you serious? I also scooped up some dark gray Levi's chinos, 5'11s, and they were only 14 bucks. As far as colored khakis go, Levi's are the way to go for me. But as far as denim goes, I'm starting to get nicer brands. Nothing worse than a plane flying by when I'm on a rant. So as far as colored chinos go, I'm really only going with uh, 5'11 Levi's because they're pretty cheap. But denim, I'm starting to step it up a little bit. Uh, you guys know I've been into Marc Jacobs. I just got another pair of those that I'm excited to get tapered. One more thing to show you guys. You already got a sneak peek at it, but Still have to show you. All right, so last up, I've got a pullover hoodie from the Kith Ops collection that dropped two or three weeks ago. By the way, did you guys see the price on those Ronnie Fogg 998s? 240. I know that 998s are expensive. I'm a huge New Balance fan. You don't really need to tell me anything, but 240 for those? No, like I, I no, like I, I'm not gonna do it, man. Nice shoe, just couldn't do that price tag. So. Uh, instead, I bought an overpriced hoodie. <laughs> I bought this hoodie from the Kith Ops collection. I thought it was dope. When I ordered this hoodie, I was hoping that it turned out as good as it looked online, and it did. Very, very nice materials. I like the design. As you can see, it's this greenish color. It's not really an olive. It's more so green. It's almost like a bright green. It kind of looks crazy. I'm looking at my camera right now to see what it looks like. It's not a dark olive. The drawstring looks a little faded as well, so I actually think it works well with the hoodie, so I'm gonna keep it in there. The sleeves are my favorite part. You guys actually got a preview of this sweatshirt when I wore it in that Puma vlog when I went to their headquarters, which was an amazing experience if you did not check out that video make sure you go check it out speaking of Puma I have something in the works with them that will benefit you guys big time and even more so if you live in the Boston area I don't want to give out any specific details right now but Thursday night if you live in the Boston area I've got something good cooking up for you guys, so keep an eye out on my Instagram. I'm gonna post some information soon. Thursday night, Boston area, keep an eye out for it. All right, so that is everything. Hopefully it did not yap too long. I'm gonna put a link to as much stuff as possible down in the description. These are steel, same thing with the black joints. Frank and Oak clothing will be down there as well. Keep an eye on my Instagram. Who knows when the next video will be? It might be tomorrow. Actually, there's a good chance there's a video tomorrow. I have a ton of stuff going on, so keep it locked. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.